I get innocent people out of prison. As an attorney, I have been able to undo the convictions of people for crimes, mostly murder or rape, that were wrongly convicted, that were actually innocent. My daughter suffered so much. She's been in prison for something she didn't do. We've gotten 20 people released from prison, you know, some off of death row. You're free! You're gonna be home pretty soon. We probably take one out of a thousand cases. We spent a lot of time at crime scenes and, you know, I got a lot of confessions from people. My client's innocent and the crime scene investigation was mishandled. I think aside from the accolades, the thing that I'm most proud of is saving that many lives. They have always known him to be a wonderful father. We actually go to the prison, someone opens the door and they're free. And you can see the emotion that they have, but you, you feel it with them, you know, that it's, it's bringing somebody back to life. Reaching out from jail, his new attorney, Kathleen Zellner, tweeting this handwritten note after meeting with Avery. Making a murder is a perfect example. What I like to do is deconstruct a case, take it apart, and then reconstruct it. So I like to go to the crime scene. I have a whole network of experts across the country that I use from blood spatter, DNA, pathologist, uh, criminal procedure experts. I think that the reason people get wrongfully convicted falls on both sides. At best, they had one expert, one they brought on board at the last minute. The state had 14 experts, so you're going to lose. I grew up in Texas and Oklahoma. I set out to be an investigative journalist, not an attorney. I was very interested in crimes, analyzing plots. You know, had read all the Nancy Drew mysteries when I was a kid. I loved a sense of adventure, solving things. My parents were scientists, so I was interested in forensic things, and I loved constructing arguments. It was actually my husband's idea that I pursue uh, being a lawyer. As Stephen Avery described dripping on the edge of the sink. Making a murder, it's probably been the most difficult case we've had. I do think that Stephen Avery will be free. I feel like we've developed the evidence that shows that he's not guilty, his nephew's not guilty. I would be proving his guilt if he was guilty. I think a, an attorney's duty is to the client and he's still locked up. With me, it, I won't have peace of mind about it until he's out. I think that there's so much good that can be accomplished as a lawyer. I think it's a wonderful avenue for women, for young women. The key to it is not giving up, and the key to it is also thinking big. You have to be a risk taker, but I think everyone should pursue whatever that dream is that they've got.